Right now, live at 5, the U.S. Supreme Court issues a decision on the Texas abortion law. What impact it could have. Plus, the Northland family making a difference this Christmas despite a difficult situation. And later, students in Barnum are getting crafty in hopes of keeping skilled trades classes in session. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local, CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park tonight where traffic jams are expected this weekend. Railroad Street is expected to be packed as a UMD hockey game, the Duluth Ice Fishing and Winter Show, and the Minnesota Ballet Nutcracker are all taking place at the deck. With the added traffic, Bentleyville organizers are advising visitors to park and walk from downtown or Canal Park. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. We begin tonight with an update out of Spooner, Wisconsin. Middle school leaders there have announced a new in-person learning plan for students, but it won't be at the school building. Last month, a strong epoxy-like odor sickened dozens of students and staff there. About 60 people needed medical treatment and several students were taken to the hospital. Students have been distance learning for a month now. Today, school leaders received testing results from three environmental health and safety companies. Officials didn't say what the results determined, but did say additional investigation is needed before they can safely reopen the building. While the middle school building remains closed, in-person learning will now take place at the Spooner Civic Center. Each grade level will have a rotating schedule. Students will continue remote learning when their grade is not scheduled for in-person. Buses will transport kids to and from the Civic Center. The temporary schedule begins Monday and will likely remain in place until the start of winter break on December 23rd. An active shooter drill led to a Pine County student being taken into custody. It happened around 2.15 this afternoon. According to the Pine County Sheriff's Office, 911 dispatch received a call from staff at Barnum High School saying a male student at the East Central School in Pine County had broadcast an active shooter incident on social media. According to authorities, it was determined East Central School was doing a lockdown drill and that was what the student posted on social media, portraying it as an actual event. The school was searched and cleared of any threat. The student was taken into custody. Charges will be reviewed by the Pine County Attorney's Office. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is now recommending the Pfizer COVID-19 booster shot for those 16 and 17 years old. Previously, only those over the age of 18 were recommended to get the shot. Their decision comes after the FDA approved the booster for that age group yesterday, and the CDC also recommended it. Those who received their second dose of the Pfizer vaccine at least six months ago are eligible for the booster. The Supreme Court has issued a mixed ruling on a Texas abortion law, which effectively bans abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy before most women know they're pregnant. Both sides are claiming victory while the court fight continues in Texas. Natalie Brand has more details from Washington. The Supreme Court ruled 8 to 1, saying abortion providers can sue some Texas officials over the state's controversial new law. But the high court stopped short of blocking the near-total abortion ban while legal proceedings continue. It is sobering um, not to have the protection of the courts uh, at this moment, um, while at the same time be forced with denying people the care that they deserve. The Texas law prohibits most abortions after around six weeks, without exceptions for rape or incest. It allows private citizens to sue those who carry out or assist in abortions with a $10,000 reward if successful. Abortion is health care. is right. Let their hearts Supporters of the law say they've saved lives. The group Texas Values said Friday the Texas heartbeat law remains fully enforceable and shows that Texas takes the dignity and protection of the preborn seriously. The Biden administration's Justice Department said it will continue to fight the Texas law in lower courts to uphold the Constitution. 
the president is very concerned uh, by the Supreme Court's decision allowing SB 8 to remain in effect, given the consequences the law has for women in Texas. In a separate opinion, Chief Justice John Roberts and the court's liberal justices sharply criticized the Texas law, saying the clear purpose and actual effect of SB 8 has been to nullify this court's rulings. The conservative majority court has yet to issue an opinion on the larger issue of abortion rights in a Mississippi case challenging Roe v. Wade. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. The Supreme Court's ruling on the Mississippi abortion case is not expected until early this summer. One Northland family is making a difference this holiday season for families in tough times like themselves. Johnny's Hospital Toy Drive has been a yearly tradition for the Galligan family for nine years now. Johnny was diagnosed with bacterial meningitis when he was just seven days old, leaving him with a brain injury. The boy's many hospital visits prompted his family to start a toy drive during the holiday season to give toys to kids in the hospital who can't be home for the holidays. A few weeks ago, Johnny was hospitalized first with rhinovirus, then RSV, and finally with COVID-19. Alina Galligan, Johnny's mother, says they're thankful for the amazing support staff has given her son during his stay. I'm living in a hospital right now, so I see day, night, they come together as a team. It's a well-oiled machine, and I wouldn't trust my child's care to anybody but I trust them wholeheartedly. They've become family. Galligan says it's been difficult to focus on the toy drive this year, so they've extended it into January. You can find details on how to participate on our website. Some extra holiday giving is coming to Northland Super One stores. Starting Monday, all donations given to the Salvation Army's Red Kettles will be matched up to $50,000. The challenge comes from Super One's parent company, Miners Incorporated, and will run until Christmas Eve. This comes as the Salvation Army says its Red Kettle campaign is falling behind this year's fundraising goal. As of yesterday, they had raised 77000 of their $220,000 goal. That's down 25% from the same time last year. They are also in need of bell ringers with 600 shifts still open. Meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt joins us now for a look at the weather. Caitlin, nice to see you in the evening. I know. Kind of late you. for you, huh? <laughs> a little different of a schedule, but yeah. uh, it's nice to be back here for at least a day. Yeah, and you drove through uh, the beginning of that storm down yes, south. Yes, I was at that football game Thursday night in the <laughs> cities. Not a great outcome for me, yeah. but that's all right. <laughs> Those folks that are still in the Twin Cities are, of course, dealing with a winter storm. We've got advisories and warnings that stretch as far north and east uh, up into our viewing area, northwest Wisconsin and the UP. For us here on the Minnesota side, we're quiet, we're dry, we're really not going to see much of an impact from that system. However, that advisory for northwest Wisconsin stays until 9 a.m. Saturday, and that winter storm warning stays until noon on Saturday for those higher impacted areas. The Doppler and satellite, you can kind of see where that main band is sitting up across the southern portions of Minnesota. The heaviest band is sitting just across Minneapolis through this next hour or so, and this is where we're going to see those high rates in terms of snowfall communities and roads are already deteriorating very bad across southern Minnesota into central Wisconsin as we head through the overnight hours tonight. In northwest Wisconsin, snow will just start creeping in around 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Duluth, only seeing a few flurries, but I'll have a look at that forecast coming up next. All right, thanks, Caitlin. Still to come on Live at 5, while summer feels far away, Hayward is already thinking about musky fests, but they need the community's help. Details on their design competition coming up in City by City. Snow piles up quickly. Remove it just as quickly with Kubota equipment. Featuring front and rear mount snow blowers, blades, and rotary sweepers, it's everything you need to take on winter. Get select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% zero APR for up to 60 months. See your local Kubota dealer today. No one serves you better than Lula Gentleman. 
Black Bear Casino Resort invites you to treat yourself for the holidays. Saturdays, December 4th through the 18th, three lucky winners will be chosen from 6 to 9 p.m. each hour for your chance at a cash gift up to $2,500. Then join us on Saturday, December 25th for our grand prize night, where four winners will be chosen from 6 to 9 p.m. each hour for a chance at a cash gift up to $10,000. Earn entry starting November 28th, and for more information, visit BlackBearCasinoResort.com. Make the bear your place to treat yourself. Menards has everything for your backyard feathered friends with a vast selection of wildlife supplies. Attract a wide variety of birds with Enchanted Garden Bird Seed, available in many high-quality seed types and blends. The easy grab and pour handle makes carrying and filling the feeder simple. Grab this 20-pound bag of Enchanted Garden Sunflower Seeds for $10.99 on sale right now at Menards. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Do you suffer from lower back pain while standing or walking? Northland Anesthesia Associates is here to provide you with surgical-free pain relief. With a fellowship-trained and board-certified staff, they offer each patient a customized, effective treatment plan. Call today for the relief you deserve. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. We're here at the White House with the President of the United States. Thanks for having me. Our exclusive access to the presidential platform. We will witness yet another moment in history. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News. Live at 5, here's a live look from Spirit Mountain tonight, where thanks to last weekend's snowfall and the cooler weather, they are ready to open more runs this weekend. Caitlin will be in with this weekend's forecast in just a few minutes, but first, Let's take a look around the region. A local health care group is providing dental care in International Falls next week and a donation boosting the children's garden in Virginia. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. We start off tonight in Hayward, Wisconsin, where they already have next year's Muskie Festival in sight. While the annual event isn't until June, the Chamber of Commerce is looking for the community's help in designing this year's logo. The theme for 2022 is keeping it real, and designs must reflect the fun, tradition, and heritage that comes with Muskie Fest. Submissions are due on January 28th, and we will have a link to the full list of rules on our website. Next, we head to International Falls, where a local care provider is providing check-ins for those in need of dental care. Children's Dental Services will be at the Kuchichin County Public Health Office on Tuesday, December 14th, to serve those of all ages. At this clinic, they will be providing preventative care, including assessments, cleanings, x-rays, fluoride, and more. CDS then plans to use this day to better understand the need for dental care in the area. And next we head to Virginia tonight where Essentia Health and the Iron Range Partnership for Sustainability is supporting Head Start students. Essentia donated more than $7,000 to the Little Gardeners program, which will provide students in three Virginia Head Start classes with hands-on experience in planting and cultivating edible gardens. The program starts in January, and by summer, students and families will be ready to help tend to the designated children's garden. And we wrap up in Eveleth tonight, where the fire and rescue squad held their Stuff the Ambulance toy drive today and just wrapped up a few minutes ago. While they don't have another drive planned, they say you can still donate new unwrapped toys to any Salvation Army. Thank you to these essential workers who give all year round and are giving even more of their time during the holiday season. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, getting crafty. How building chairs is helping Barnum students build lifelong skills. More on their class project in a few minutes. And we've got snow showers moving across southwestern Minnesota, across northwest Wisconsin into tonight. We've got a beautiful weekend ahead. I'll have the details next. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. The struggle is real. With Healthy Systems USA, you can lose up to 50 pounds in two months. Healthy Systems USA. We help jeans fit better. 
If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. I'm Dr. Dustin Lucarelli, a general surgeon at St. Luke's. We oftentimes are the ones that are called to deal with appendicitis, cholecystitis, hernias, and even cancers. I chose to practice at St. Luke's because it gives me the opportunity to work with some of the newest advancements and technologies. I really enjoy working with the Da Vinci robot and doing minimally invasive surgery. So being a general surgeon allows me the capability to work with my hands and work with patients. And it's something I truly enjoy. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. From value price softeners to the world's best and even salt free, no one has more solutions than Culligan to customize the best filtration for your home. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. In my family, buying a real Christmas tree is a family tradition. Buying a Minnesota tree is good for the environment and our economy. This year, go green and get real with a Minnesota grown Christmas tree. Find your tree farm or lot at minnesotagrown.com. Hi, I'm Steve Fitch, CEO and founder for Healthy Systems USA. We'd like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays. If you want to lose weight for your New Year's resolution, choose Healthy Systems USA, the most amazing weight loss system available. The Northland family making a difference this Christmas despite a difficult situation. A winter storm clips us here in the Northland tonight. Then we've got a beautiful extended forecast for those details tonight. Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. Get your news on the go, the CBS3 mobile app. And now, your WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good evening. We've got snow showers moving across southern portions of Minnesota. If you have travel plans to make it towards the Twin Cities late this evening or even into Wisconsin throughout tomorrow morning, you're going to be hitting some rough travel with the road conditions, of course, being impacted. Taking a look at that map in terms of watches and advisories, we've got that winter weather advisory for folks across northwest Wisconsin. This is more so in our viewing area. And then that winter storm warning, which takes over the entire portions of Wisconsin into the UP. Notice our Minnesota side, quiet. We're not looking at warnings or watches. This system will actually just clip the twin ports tonight and then slide east into the upper peninsula area. The Doppler and satellite kind of a widespread picture here. You can kind of see those heavier bands just entering the Minneapolis twin metro area. So road conditions have been deteriorating very quickly. While the t uh, snowfall amounts so far only are about two to three inches in most areas in Minneapolis, folks down to the southwestern portions of Minnesota is where we're seeing those higher totals where some could see up to a good foot of snow. Now that snow is going to continue to trend more so southeasterly or northeasterly rather into the overnight hours. Duluth, we're going to be just on that outer edge where we could see a few flurries, but that's really all we're expecting through the overnight hours tonight. In terms of our viewing area, northwest Wisconsin folks, Superior, Spooner, Ashland, even Washburn and Hayward, we're going to see a couple of fresh inches, maybe two to four for most spots. The higher totals are going to be across Wausau, Rhinelander, and even into the Upper Peninsula, where that system, of course, trends more easterly into Saturday morning. Temperatures have been a nice one for the day today, sitting right on average for most of the afternoon. We're at 26 degrees, 24 in Grand Rapids, 21 in Ely, and 28 over in Ironwood. So most of these temperatures are sitting just below freezing. So just keep in mind once that snow starts in Hayward and Siren and then further east in Ironwood and Mercer, we are going to start to see slippery and slick road conditions. Shouldn't be an issue, though, for the Minnesota side. That system is really kind of sitting just to our south as we head through the next couple of hours here. So we're missing out on a really good storm, winter storm for folks who may really want that snow. But Minneapolis is getting that snow. All of Wisconsin is getting that snow. Notice where that warm front sets up just north of Chicago is going to be where that rain snow line sits. So our entire upper Midwest is going to see that cold air. And it's going to be enough to produce, of course, heavy snowfall rates. The next several hours into your early Saturday morning, this is looking at Saturday, 4 a.m. We're just seeing the backside of that system work its way across northwest Wisconsin into further portions of Michigan as we head into Saturday. And then high pressure slides right into the region, of course, clearing those skies out for us, bringing in plenty of sunshine both Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday, Tuesday. We've got a 
gorgeous seven-day forecast for the first half of that week once the snow system moves out. In terms of snowfall, that's left to go. Higher totals, again, Wausau, Eau Claire, and even Albert Lee. Minneapolis, another four inches is likely into the overnight hours, so that will, of course, only make that travel a bit more difficult into your late evening. Temperatures tonight fall into the single digits in far northern Minnesota just because clouds will start to decrease from northwest to southeast. Still looking at mild temperatures across northwest Wisconsin. And then tonight we drop back into those, or tomorrow rather, we drop back into those 30s and uh, upper 20s across the board here. Uh, Seven-day forecast for you. We've got a very nice weekend ahead. Saturday and Sunday, plenty of sunshine, temperatures in the upper 20s. And then comes Sunday, we're looking at a high of 35. And those temperatures keep climbing. Wednesday, we're looking at a high near 40. Average high is only 27. So a very nice week ahead, of course, yeah. uh, for the next several days. A lot of snow melt and a lot of sunshine. Yeah, so get on the ski hills Absolutely. now. Yes. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Caitlin. You <laughs> A unique class at Barnum High School is giving back in a crafty way. CBS 3's Abigail Smith shares what's so special about this class and what a group of 50 students hope to achieve. Richard Bird's industrial technology class at Barnum High School is no ordinary class. It's full of sawing, cutting, and assembling furniture from scratch as they build hundreds of chairs for the community. In the beginning, it's just you start out with nothing, and then seeing it all come together at the end is just nice to see. For the past five years, Mr. Bird's class has been building these Adirondack chairs as an industry project, so it can get hands-on, real-world work experience. Everyone's moving, everyone's busy. If they're not, they're talking to our, we've got a shop supervisor, we've got a, um, safety inspector that's watching for safety stuff. It's just like a real industry, you know, and the, we see the products leave the door and the customers are happy. In just two hours, this year's class already sold the 70 chairs they made this semester during an online sale. All of those funds funnel right back into the industrial technology department so the career focused class can continue for many years to come. It's important to me because it's learning leadership roles for later on in life and learning how to work in an industry of other like people and learning learning how to work in a team. Students even have real-life roles in the wood shop, like safety and shop supervisors, all to introduce more on-the-job style experience in the classroom. Last year, the class sold 200 chairs, many two people right in their own community. Bird says he expects to sell just as many, if not more, in the coming months. You can buy a chair, either painted or unpainted, from anywhere between $55 and $65. It's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets, and today's pet comes to us from Precious Paws Humane Society in Chisholm. This is Patches. She's a year-and-a-half-old kitten looking for a place to call home. Our friends at the shelter tell us she is a friendly girl who loves attention and prefers to be the princess of the home. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt Patches, then you can call the number on your screen. Still to come, while technology is a common gift this time of year, eye doctors are warning parents to be mindful of their children's screen time. Now you can get Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99 a month when you get two or more lines. $29.99! You get unlimited data and 5G included. And you get the most reliable service coast to coast for $29.99. Mind if I cut through? No, go ahead. And you also get the fastest overall speeds for just $29.99 a month. $29.99? Oh, I know. It's very good. This is thousands of hours of advanced research and development. It's a better way to mobile. Spectrum Mobile. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. When one door closes, another opens. Open the door to memories ready to be unpacked. Kick off the next great adventure. Open the door to new possibilities. Superior Choice Credit Union. This is our currency. Happy Holidays from Bath Planet. This season, we're helping you while helping others. Receive 20% off your entire bathroom project and we'll include a $50 donation to a local food shelf with every appointment to help families in need. The offer starts on Black Friday and ends December 31st. As always, you can still get one of our great financing options, so call us today or go online to book your appointment. Happy Holidays from Bath Planet. Out of this world service, down to earth price. Marie says in the Greater Downtown Council, thank you for shopping local this holiday season. We love our local businesses and there's something for everyone on your holiday list. 
Stevie Sievertson Gallery is a female-owned gallery in Canal Park featuring art of the north from local and regional artists. Find your perfect holiday gift from our selection of mini masterpieces, jewelry, ceramics, and more. Come browse our gallery in person or visit us online. Welcome to the Duluth Candy Company, the sweetest spot on Superior Street. From sweet treats, stocking stuffers, and popcorn, we have everything you'll need to have a very merry season. Looking for lake and local gifts? Here's how to find the Lake Superior Magazine gift shop. From here, take the elevator to two. Hit the skywalk and keep going. From the Holiday Center, hang a right after you come up the escalator and keep going till you see us. We make shopping for local Lake Superior gifts easy. Visit us and we'll make your holiday season just right. On behalf of everyone at Maurice's, we wish you the happiest of holidays. I'm Dr. Matthew Bettendorf. I am a general surgeon practicing here in Ashland at Memorial Medical Center. I grew up in central Minnesota. Every day is an adventure, and uh, with 12 children, it's great fun. I get great satisfaction out of serving people and also like to fix problems. Surgery is a natural combination of those two. Fix a disease process rapidly and also spend a lot of time with people and help them feel better. This is surgical residency. I see a lot of weaknesses. Dad, I can do this. He is not in charge. Well, that's not what he thinks. Do not let this affect your confidence. What happened to my whiteboard? We upgraded. I like to doodle on my whiteboard. Sorry for your loss. It's not how I do things. So what, it's your way or the highway? It's my way because it works. Good Sale premieres Wednesday, January 5th on CBS. Get your news on the go. The CBS3 mobile app. Hot holiday gifts for children often include technology, from phones to tablets to video game systems. Kids have spent much more time on screens during the pandemic, and it's leading to eye problems. Naomi Ruckham shows us why more kids are needing glasses and how parents can help. All three of Ann Ang's boys are having issues with their eyesight. They are looking like out of the corner of their eye, squinting, or when they go pick up something, they have to get really close to either the screen or the phone's always in their face. Her oldest, Zayden, is at the eye doctor for an issue that's only gotten worse in school. They write big, but to me it seems small because I can't see. Zayden has myopia, or nearsightedness. It's feeling like it's even harder that it's gotten worse. Yes. It's a diagnosis optometrist Dr. James Delarusso is seeing more often, especially in children. A lot more usage of device, not only for their academics, but also for leisure and social connection. And absolutely um, seeing a exponential increase in people's strength of their prescriptions. One study from China of more than 120,000 children ages 6 to 8 found cases of nearsightedness increased up to three times during the pandemic. Parents want the best for their kids. What can they do to slow this down? Well, I think knowledge is power and early diagnosis is key. Doctors say something as simple as spending a little more time outside can help slow the progression of nearsightedness. Dr. Della Russo recommends following the 2020 rule. After 20 minutes of screen time, they want to look at an object 20 feet away for about 20 seconds to let their eye sort of reset that accommodation and relax. All tips, Zayden and his mom hope will help him see better now and into the future. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. Eye doctors recommended having children screened for vision problems between the ages of 6 and 8 years old. On this Friday night, a CBS Evening News tradition. Our secret Santa is back and once again spreading kindness to people in need. The CBS Evening News is now just minutes away. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. I'm telling you, you should open a business. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. I've got an idea. I hope you like it. I love it. Just one question. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's a chair. New plan. You make the furniture, I make the ideas, NBC makes them happen. That was always the plan. 
bring us your best ideas. National Bank of Commerce. We make more possible. At Super One Foods, we go to great measures to deliver you with top quality meat every day. Try our Black Angus New York Strip Steak for only $6.96 per pound. And get Alaskan Sockeye Salmon Filets for just $9.89 per pound. Plus, we provide the best of the best in fresh produce. Get two pounds of Halo's Clementines for just $2.99. And get three pounds of California Naval Oranges for just $2.99. Through all that we do, we've got you in mind. Super One Foods, serving you lower prices and better choices. Menards has the best and brightest options to light your home. Smart Electrician has all the lighting you need for any workspace. Update your garage with a new shop light. Or pick up work lights to keep any area well lit. And for all your indoor horticulture needs, grab a grow light today. Illuminate your home and save big on smart electrician lights. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on Live Local CBS3. Stay connected to Live Local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Friday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and we'll see what's coming up at 6. Tonight at 5, exactly one month after an epoxy like odor sickened dozens at Spooner Middle School, the district says they will continue distance learning with a rotation schedule for students to get some in person instruction. Class will not be held at the school as it remains closed by fire department orders. And tonight at 6, we hear more from the Galligan family as they spend their holiday season collecting toys. For families like theirs who spend many special occasions in the hospital. Their story of giving tonight. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We hope to see you back here at 6.